you want to do the intro? Yeah. One, two, three! <laughs> The spark plugs on the E55 AMG. We're going, we're going one step coder plugs. We got the NGK one step coder. It's, uh, it's modified. We're making anywhere over 75 horsepower above stock. Uh, it's always recommended to, to go with one step coder plug just for boost levels and pre detonation to prevent pre detonation. So we're going to do that right now and fuel mileage. Don't forget fuel mileage. And fuel mileage. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's move the camera over here closer. So what's the first step for this, brother? Well, I already did it, but you remove these uh, these two intake tubes that go right here. Take those out and pretty much go, go ahead and to take your intake boxes out. And uh, I got a hose clamp over here. Uh, most of you guys will have just like a little a clip thing that, that, that uh, latches to the throttle body. But I got a hose clamp so this guy broke off on, on this. You know, too much horsepower. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm going to do that. And, uh, go ahead and make sure you disconnect all your your crank ven ventilation base tubes too. That. All right, that should be it. And that's hot. The intake come off. So yeah. easy. I'm going to just set it down in the same little area. And, and after this, what are we going to do? I'm going to go ahead and just disconnect the, the coil packs, each, each, each and every one of them. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. we got to label them. So yep. Let's label them. Alright, so right now what you're doing, you're just putting tape on top of it, and then we're going to put like a number so we can label them. It's a horrible five. <laughs> there you go. All right. What's next, brother? About to unscrew these coil packs, and uh, after, now that we label them, and also disconnect them from the disconnect them from the rock hook wires, take them out, and after that we should be good. All right, let's get it. We kind of doing that. We're gonna might as well show them a little bit how kind of replace it. So what is this? This is a T30. I don't have a. Well, I don't want to use the half inch uh, wrench, so I just an adapter to three eighths. But there's that. And after you break them, they should, they should just come off with your with your hands. They shouldn't be on tight, tight at all. So what you doing with those bolts? Just uh, putting them in a little zip lock back so I get, don't get lost. There you go. So then you just pry it out. Yeah. And just use a little 17 millimeter wrench, and it should just come out. And that's two right there. And then we got three and four, and then basically the same thing for the other side.
you go. That's it, what you want to do is just blow some compressed air, get all the dust and whatnot from the, from the spark plugs, and you don't want to get it in your cylinder, so. Let's get it. So you're doing what right now? You just put in tape on Yeah, these wires, so. Whenever I blow, they won't get a, no dust in or anything like that. Sir? <clears throat> Better be safe than sorry. Exactly. <laughs> Jinx. Alright, now that you blow on it, you just taking it out now? Yep. Ah, damn, son. It's on there, bro. Going at it, huh? That thing is on there, bro. <laughs> Change positions over here, brother. Oh, yeah, this is better. Oh, she coming, she coming. How many more we gotta go? Uh, damn, <laughs> fucking. What, 15? Right, damn, bro. <laughs> oh, Y'all not like that. Well, now you get it. That was on there. You gotta talk to her, like, sweet, bro. You gotta be like, you know, Mom, see her. That's how you look. That's how I look right there. See all that oil? It's from your valve covers leaking. Hmm. All right. So what we doing now, so? we going. Out with the old. Uh huh. And then with the new. Oh boy. Yeah. That's it. Oh wait, hold up. I don't think oh, we told him, but where you got this? Uh. Oh, it's from VRP Speed, you know. It's my boys out there. Go check them out. Tell them Zoe sent you. <laughs> All right, bet. Yo, what you doing? Copper grease. You put too much on it. Just kind of like spread it out. And you should be good. That's so it won't seize up against your... Seize up on your cylinder head. And that's, that's bad for you. All right, so make sure you put your copper grease on there. Spark plug. And then... Sure, it's being installed. Oh, yeah, there you go. Alright, let's go get our harvest break for So, we bought this for $100. Yeah, $200. $200, yep. $200. So, you know, you don't want to go cheap with this Mercedes, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was about to use the key. You about to use the key? How many are we doing? Let me see. 18 and a half. We're doing 18? Yeah, 18 and a half. Okay. We got the click, click beta type torque wrench. Uh. Here you go. There you go. That was 18 and a half. Did we put the right one in there, bro? <gasps> no, I'm blind. <laughs> I think we did. He's happy. Sure, it's your car, no man, so. No, we didn't, man. <laughs> I'm just looking at you. I go number two. Set in there one. Just mm -hmm. clicking right there. So now we're going to do the same thing to the other ones. We're going to have some fun today, Alonso. One. It's one. It's like almost half of the video already. All right, so ten was the next step after this. It's basically, basically the same thing. Same right? thing. Same thing. Same thing. Cylinder. My wise man once told me, same shit, a different toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we, what, we, what you doing right now, so? Just make sure they're on there. Ooh, I, so he done with this out right now. Just make sure everything is in there. Just like the way you took it off, the way you put it back. You got the four cylinders on that side. Now you're gonna work on the other side. Gosh dang, 
open. Oh, halfway in. Alright, so what are we doing now? Just uh, finishing sure, up. We're just finishing up, tightening up everything. Double yeah, checking. And uh, we should be good. So we got night dark on us. So took a took a little while. I'm gonna I didn't expect it to take this long. These are kind of spark plugs being too tight. Yeah, they were they were the original spark plugs on the engine. I mean, it's not bad because it has like, oh, now it has 60,000 miles on the engine, so I mean. It's not bad. It was, uh, it was overdue, but we got her done, boys. Oh, yeah. Now she's going to be running better. And then just taking out the tape, plugging all the wires back, and then just putting back the intake and it should be good. What are you doing right now, Alonso? So, so we're going to uh, go ahead and just reset the ECU. Why are you going to reset the ECU? Huh? Why are you going to reset it? They just, don't know. So, just so it all know it's ain't nothing wrong with it no more. So it won't, uh, so it won't cut, uh, cut ignition from cylinder number four. Because as far as right now, it knows it hasn't missed fire. So we don't tell it it's good now. Facts. And after that, which is done. Mm -hmm. Done deal. Think so. Hopefully, cross our fingers. Reset your, your ECU, pretty much your whole car, without having a computer. It's just uh, unplugging the battery for about about 30 minutes to an hour at least. Just plugging it back in, and, re and it pretty much resets everything. See it looks, eh? It says uh, misfiring. It tells me it's misfiring, and then it tells me what cylinder is misfiring. So I'm still in number four, which we did. <coughs> Double check everything. Now we're gonna start it up. Hit it. I forgot that shit was loud. I forgot this shit was loud. See how, see how it is, because yeah, you can you can only really only tell whenever it's on, under load. So yeah, it's good right now, but yeah, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling right now. We'll see tomorrow. What's up? It's easy to change the spark plugs. You still get time. So fucking take him out. She was she was stressful, huh? Alonso knows he was doing it. Ain't that right? It was tiring. <laughs> that was, they want to come out. That was the only hard part. Yeah, they didn't want to come out. That was really the only hard part. But well, they did, so. <clears throat> but since this was a first time spark plug changing thing for this for this engine, I guess they were a little bit harder because nobody did them before. And like I said, I mean, it's only 50, 60,000 miles. So it's not even that. That much, <clears throat> but we did need, but well, we did need colder, colder, um, one step colder plugs, since I'm making around 600 crank. So, so uh, ponies right there. <laughs> All right, I stay tuned for more.